Hey guys, Anthony, 4 before Diesel. Um, I've done the information on the big front end job, well not front end, front end's your suspension, big front engine job before, there's a few videos on that. And in the VIP group, might be a video how to do it. Look, there's gonna be more. I've just had a question though, so I'm just gonna elaborate on that. And obviously, I like to answer the question for everyone. So if anyone else is thinking the same thing, then boof, you've got the answer. So. These are some of the things that come in our big front en en engine kit. Yeah, engine, not front end kit. Big front engine kit. Well, it's not really a big front engine kit. It's the, we call it the big front engine job because it's everything on the front of the engine. So every 150,000 Ks your timing belt's due. That's obviously this one. So a standard part of the service, 150 K, bang, that gets changed. Now, that's all good and well. We don't see those break sort of things. So people often ask me, does it matter I'm a bit over? Well. I'm not going to tell you it's okay to cover myself, so you've got to change it by 150, like Toyota said. But I've seen them over and years over and kilometres over and all that. Never seen one break, and all the ones I've ever taken off, I haven't seen them deteriorated too badly either. So if they were a bit older, probably wouldn't matter too much. So hopefully that sort of answers the question someone had. Um, that being said, they do recommend replacing timing belts. I think the eight years overrides the time so the 150k if you have if you've only done 70 or 80 or 100 or 200 120 thousand k's that's eight years you should change it because the cost of that belt is a lot less than the cost of an engine and it is your engine if your pistons hit your valves so we're just going to quickly go through a few of the parts why you wouldn't wouldn't replace them so let's just do it in theory your vehicle's only done somewhere under 100 thousand k's um and you're going oh you know should i what should i replace well at the end of the day Normally the timing belt components are maybe the timing belt, maybe the tensioner, it's a hydraulic tensioner, again we don't see them fail, um, but when you change it every 150 it's a good idea just to change it because it's got to last another 150 and as we already mentioned it is your engine. Um, the cam seal, they usually don't leak but no point not having one there while you're doing the job because if you find it leaking you got it all apart you're going to want one. So we supply it with our kit fairly standard um, but we say if it's not leaking don't change it. This is the crank seal. You can also get one of those if you ask for it. So if you notice there's oil leaking, look, on the 1KDs, these seals don't leak. That's why it's not a standing inclusion. We've got them in stock though. So if you know that you've got a weep or a leak at your crankshaft seal at the front there, um, just let us know. So make sure I get that um, crank seal and we'll put that in as well. No extra charge. Anyway, so they're the optional things around the timing belt. You've got the timing belt, optional. And there's also this idler here, which has got the bearing in it. So a bearing, look, not, I used to say if you don't use it off-road, it would probably last to 300000 But for the sake of another, we're going to use ballpark prices here, right? Time about 100 bucks, tension 100 bucks, idler 100 bucks, right? Well, give or take, thereabouts, right? For the sake of 100 bucks or 150000 k you're going to not do it. So sort of you've got to answer your own question. People ask me, should I do it or not? Well... You know, if it doesn't go off-road, it might last. So if it's dust and dirt and mud, you know, a little bit gets in past the cover. It's not sealed that well. So you should do it. Mm -hmm. You know, I just go, for the sake of the amount of money we're talking about for an engine, and these parts have got to last 150K, I say just do it. So from now on, if you ask me, every 150, just do it. Now, what else is related? We've got a water pump in the box here. That's what's in the big box, right? And when we pack and send this kit out to you, if you buy the kit, it all goes into that box except the coolant, okay? That doesn't happen, we'll get to that. What I wanna say though, so water pump, how's that related? Well, on some of the engines, you do have to remove the timing belt and backing plate and everything to get to the water pump, right? So some of the engines. So if you're gonna do your water pump and you wanna get the parts off me, just give me a ring, we'll have a chat about what yours is and isn't and work out so that you get the right parts and upgrade you to the right pump so it doesn't happen again. Now, so, Basically, if you've got a low K car and the water pump's not leaking and you're just doing the timing belt, you don't really need to change the water pump, that's right. But if your water pump leaks and you've got one of the vehicles, usually Hiluxes that have got the one piece pump, and it leaks, then you've got to take your timing belt off all over again. So at 150K, when you're doing your timing belt on a Hilux, definitely you want to do your water pump while you've got it off. Get it off, upgrade it, put the the other pump on right that's the one we supply two piece all genuine parts and bada boom bada bing it won't happen again then if your pump does leak separate to your top look 
generally if it's out of so your schedules every 150,000 k's let's just do the lot if something happens outside of that say you get to uh, 220,000 k's you're not due for a timing belt I'm gonna say just do the water pump don't don't pull off the timing belt do it just do the water pump do the coolant that's unfortunate but if you can get it all while you're in there at the same time because you've got the fan off the belts off and everything you can get into the water pump and the timing belt makes it all a lot easier to do it at the same time and it's just another excuse to change your coolant right so in my opinion you just do the lot every 150 right so someone's sitting there going well you haven't really answered my question yeah i have because at the start i said 80,000 k's right so i just kind of go you know what okay so cars only done 80,000 k's okay but it is 10 or 11 or 12 years old so you know what i say just do it anyway I probably wouldn't replace, so here we go again. You could not replace the tensioner because we don't see problems, it's probably going to be fine. But it's got to be good for another 10 years. So we're going to save 100 bucks for 10 years? That's my question for you, okay? Same as this, this is a bearing. It hasn't done the kilometres, so it's probably going to be fine. So I'd say you can get away without that. So you don't need to do the water pump if you've done 80,000 k's. You don't need to do the water pump, you don't need to do this, you don't need to, just do the belt. Pop the cover off, do the belt. So you can do that, it's your cheapest way out. You know, 100 bucks, whatever it is for the belt. But then again, your water pump might leak in 10,000, whatever. It's a lot easier to get to your timing belt by taking that timing cover off, which I've shown in other videos. It may not be on YouTube, maybe just in the VIP group on Facebook, you know, the, the client, the, the loyalty group. So it just depends. Once you buy this kit, you'll be able to get into that group and see all the videos. Um, the other thing is, again, while you're in there, the easiest way to do this is to change its belt. These deteriorate over time as well. I've never seen one broken, um, cracked, or about to break on these engines, but they do stretch, and your belt tension guide, automatic tensioner thing, it's gonna be possibly out of range, and it's good to change these at the same time. Every 150 is perfect, right? And of course, they're sorry about that, guys. Um, interrupted by the phone call again, you get that every now and then. Hopefully it doesn't happen again, or I'll have a dummy spit. No, it's all good. <laughs> Um, I don't even know where I was. I probably should have watched the other part of the video first and then uh, I would know where I was up to. <coughs> Look, you just do the whole lot is what I'm trying to get at. So, you know, all the belts, they're deteriorated, so you can do the lot. If you want to save money, of course, yep, just do the belt. You know, leave this belt until your water pump leaks. So, so if you want the cheap, easy way out of it, the answer is just do your timing belt if you've done low Ks and you haven't been off-road. Um, if you've been in dirt and dust, well, that's going to, you know, it's going to bring the question, well, how much dust, dirt and water might have got to this bearing? You know, you can't, if you just do the whole, even if it's done, eight, this is Murphy's Law, right? If you just do the belt, then you know what's going to happen in five or 10,000 k's, the water pump's going to leak, right? So anyway, for the sake of you haven't spent any money on the front engine for 11 years, I think, you know, you just do the lot anyway, and bada boom, bada bing. And when I say the lot, you don't change those seals if they're not leaking, right? Because um, they don't normally leak, right? The cam seal, more likely, it'll be there if you need it. Crank seal, no. Bearings, well, you could take the belt off and spin them and go, oh, they don't feel too bad. But if you find that they're noisy, you're going to want the bearings there. And if you find... You know what I mean? You kind of need to know in advance. You need to have your parts there handy, you know what I mean? So I reckon the car's 11, 12 years old, 8 years old, whatever it is. It's kind of just do the lot. That's what I think. So I hope that video has explained the way I'm sort of thinking. If you haven't got the money, then by all means, go ahead and do bits and pieces at a time. But do the whole lot. And bada boom, bada bing, you're good for another 10 years. So if you're doing low K's, another 10 years, you know. So not a lot of money to spend um, for, you know, a 10-year period. That's the coolant you want to use. If we all use the same coolant, there's going to be no mixes because the most important thing is it doesn't matter, oh, you know, you can get the new on this and the pen right, that, whatever. I'm not saying those brands are okay or not or whatever. It's all good. But if you use the genuine stuff, <coughs> you don't have to mix it. This one's already pre-mixed, so... The chance of getting bad water into the mix and all that is reduced unless it's really putrid filthy don't flush it because you're going to introduce water possible contaminants you won't get it all out then when you put your coolant in it's going to be watered down so just drop the plugs out there is a couple of plugs on the 1kd there's one on the radiator and one on the block at the oil cooler near the oil filter it's a brass plug just loosen it off tape its seat just nip it up nicely on the v6 here you go people want v6 information there's two block plugs, go find them. 
that's all good <laughs> you'll find them they're just coolant drain plugs um i'm just trying to say about the coolant if we all use the same coolant the big most important thing is not to have mixes so let's all just have the same stuff it's not too badly priced you get a couple of bottles for 70 or 80 bucks you're going to need these are five litre containers, two of those will cover you, don't worry what the book says, 11, 12 litres or whatever, you're never going to get it all out. So what I said, it's going to take less than 10, okay, it'll be a miracle if it uses more than 10, probably 8 or 9, just depends what angle you're on, how much time you let it drain and, whatever, and what components you take off to let it all drain out at the lowest point. So I hope that answers your question and all the people that didn't ask the question, I hope it answers the question before you ask. You know the deal, if you haven't already, subscribe, turn notifications on and bada boom bada bing have a nice day see ya